You know what? I feel like I don't want to see my face right now. But let's just get on with this. Okay, that's way too much, Natasha. Banyaknya Natasha, hoi. I don't like this. Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to today's video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different, which I will feature the worst products in this video. So along this video, I'll be using them. So it is like full tutorial. These products are basically just don't work good on me. And I feel like the quality is just not up to my expectation. Maybe it's going to be a little bit of drama in this video, which I hardly to like them. So if you want to see what are they, please just watch this video until the end of it. Grab a snack or anything. Just sit back, enjoy this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. This is going to be a little bit different. And I never did this kind of video in my previous years. I kind of hesitate actually because it's the worst product and I'm afraid that it somehow offended some of you guys. But yeah, that's the thing. I can't change that. I still don't like them. The only thing that I like, of course, my primer that I use in this video. I have applied it beforehand. So let's just start off with all these products. I'm gonna start off with the foundation. Okay, this is it. This is the foundation from Simplicity. I don't like this. It just doesn't work good on me. I don't feel good about this product. It's just made my makeup not last. The only good thing that I see from this product is that it offers a dewy finish on the skin. But throughout a few hours, it just enhances my texture, my lines. And the other worst thing about this foundation is that they only offer two different shades. And I picked the one that is too light for me. So... Yeah, overall I can say that it's just not good. Let's just get on with this. So you guys can see that the shade is very very light on me. It's not just about the quality itself, but the shade itself makes me a little bit disappointed. They do have their own sponge. So I am using it right now. But unfortunately it's just made things worse. I don't feel good about the finish. It's like so very thick. Yeah, basically my texture is just enhanced with this foundation. I did try to use this and I did try to use the wet sponge. I did try to use brush. All of the methods just don't work. So, but I'm still gonna make this work like even out my skin tone. You know what? I feel like I don't want to see my face right now. But let's just get on with this. I'm gonna apply powder, a loose powder. I'm just gonna apply loose powder to finish up and to set all this. Oh wait, before that, before that, I want to use a kind of cream blush. But it's not cream blush actually. It's a liquid lipstick, which I don't like. So what is the lip cream? It is from iMagic Professional Cosmetics. At first, I kind of like it, but... As I've tried over and over, it's just not really good with my lips condition. So I'm just going to use this for my cheeks here as a cream blush. This is like totally matte and instantly set on the skin. So I'm just going to do this pretty quick. Okay, that's way too much, Natasha. Banyaknya Natasha, hoi. I did not practice on this, so this is like spontaneous. Everything is spontaneous in this video. It's so very pigmented and I look like a clown right now. Never mind, let's just leave it for a moment. I'm gonna set with loose powder and hopefully it will be okay. So for the loose powder, this is an exceptional. I have to use my favorite because I don't have the worst loose powder in my collection. This is not the worst. This is from Kina Beauty, by the way. It's a local brand. So I hope you're not distracted with this kind of pinkish blush, like so very pink right here. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on with other products. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So this is from Pink Flash. This is the eyebrow pencil from Pink Flash in the shade Natural Brown. I don't really like this. The applicator is so very thick which make the application for eyebrows difficult. So yeah, I do not like this. I did a review on this too and it was like okay, like so-so for me. But as I've tried over and over, I became hate this product. You know what? Every time I'm trying new products or not so new products, I am trying myself to love the product so much 
but if it doesn't work i can't do anything let's apply this eyebrow pencil i am praying that this will work but i know that the finish will not as beautiful as i expected it to be that's it i'm not gonna go too far with this application otherwise it will turns out to be worse i am being very very careful with this let's conceal a little bit under this part okay the next product is from o2o cosmetics this is high coverage liquid concealer i don't like this i don't like this it's like very tacky and very hard to blend it's not easily blend under eyes or any parts of my skin i don't know i don't know it's not working on me so let's just head on with this application i'm just gonna put this under here and then blend it out with my brush okay so that's basically how the eyebrows look like and it's creasing oh this is the eyeshadow from foreign cost cosmetics i have an issue with this product it's just not doing it i've tried for a second time for a third time it's just not working good it's hard to blend on the skin and this is how the color payoff looks like it's beautiful actually i probably just gonna pick up this color right here and yeah blend it to all over my lids I'm gonna do on my lower lash line too. Oh my god, it's just made my makeup look worse. I don't like this. Oh my god. The color selection is pretty the same actually, so it's not impressed me a lot. At first, it was kind of wow to me, but as I use this, it's just not turns out to be good. So I'm gonna add another sparkle color right here. So that's how it goes. I'm gonna finish up this eye makeup with eyelashes. Okay, before I head on with fake lashes, I want to add more product. Okay, this is highlighter from Pink Flash. It's it's just okay for me it's not like really really good to me because the shimmer finish is hardly appear on the skin but never mind i'm just gonna use this for the top of my eyelids right here for me for highlighter i can have a better finish from other products this is like so mild and not up to my preference i'm gonna tap a little bit of this on my cheeks but it's still not doing it like, I am so very disappointed already. Another product that I want to use is mascara. So, the next worst thing or the next worst product is... This is from O2O. The bristle and the curve of this mascara is fine. But, it's just not doing it. Okay, let me tell you guys why I don't like this mascara. The curve is nice already, but it's not curling up my lashes. So can you see that it's hardly curl on me? And you know that I have super straight original lashes and this is just not working good. It's not volumizing, it's not curling up my lashes. So it's like totally bad for me. On the other hand, it works good on lower lashes. I don't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna put on my favorite lashes to make me a little bit happy. I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, last but not least, it's lipstick. And yeah, this is the one that I don't like. The first time I'm trying this out, I instantly don't like this. This is from Kim Muse. It's matte velvet lipstick in the shade number 3. So, let's apply this. Color-wise, it's beautiful actually. 
but the texture is not good it's like cracking my lips it's patchy the smell is horrible okay let me show you why i hate this a lot so did you see that it just enhances my lips texture it's patchy cracking up everything here and there so that's why oh my god i feel so horrible with all this makeup on but i'm glad that the eyelash is doing a thing in this video and uh, the eyebrow looks quite okay even though the applicator is quite hard to use but yeah we are talking about the worst product so this is how it looks like the whole makeup look that i use in this video you know how much i am trying so hard to love the products that i've tried but if it's not working i will feel disappointed and you know just somehow put it in the trash or whatsoever it's just not doing it it's just not doing it i actually do have another lip product that i don't like i do love this in the first place but turns out it's just not working good on me as well so this is silky girl matte styler slim lip color i'm gonna show you guys in this video so i'm just top this one on top of the kim c color so this is it in terms of the color wise it's just so good but sadly the formula just doesn't stay beautiful throughout few hours overall it's not working good to be honest so i hope you guys learned something in this video thank you for watching this video until the end of it i do really appreciate your time i do really appreciate every single one of you guys this is just a kind of fun video so if you're kind of feel offended or anything i am so sorry the products are just not working good on me i hope you guys are having a great time with your loved ones and please do share this video if you feel that this video is kind of fun to share with other people so i'll see you guys in the next video with much more interesting makeup content have a great day and i'll see you soon